Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna tell you all this story about Petty Reed Doll. But before we start, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you and enjoy the video. Eight-year-old Patty Reed smuggled a little dollhouse under her skirt and moved into California. The Reed family were heading to California in 1846. Already running behind schedule, Patty had been asked by her family to lose all of her beloved toys and leave them behind to help lighten the load in the hopes of traveling fast enough to get to California before the winter starts. But they were not so lucky. The early and harsh winter weather trapped them for months, slowly starving to death. Petty's father was one of the leading members, but was kicked out after a fight between two other men and stabbing one to death. He was kicked out at a wagon and went ahead to the California. Petty stayed behind with her mother and siblings to face the starving times. Facing mountains of snow and months of freezing weather with no hope, the survivors found themselves in a very desperate situation. When people began to die, the survivors restored to cannibalism. Out of 87 members of the party, only 48 survived to tell the tale. But after a while, the news reached someone named John Sutters about the desperate situation of Donner Party. He began to send rescue parties to send out supplies and attempt to bring back survivors. By doing this, he was trying to add to his fame and reputation. The entire Red family survived and went to live a life of mother's luxury in San Jose. A copy of Petty Red Dolls can be found along with other artifacts from Donner Party at the Immigrant Trail Museum in Truckee, California. No, before you go, Patty Red's doll is safely kept in a little glass case inside of the Museum of Sutter Fort. You can feel the pain that Patty had through that doll. Make sure to smile at the doll and pray for her soul. And that's all you need to know about Petty Red's doll. Thank you all for watching the video. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And please, tell me your thoughts. What did you think of the story?